Good morning. So three things to do when you are feeling a bit like rubbish, lacking in motivation, um, or the S word as well, which I won't say just in case Facebook puts me off. Anyway, hope you are all well. Happy Sunday. So three things to, to do in. Number one is to, actually, before I go in that, I just want to touch on the fact that when we say I feel like, we're actually using an analogy. We don't really know what it feels like to be rubbish. We don't know what rubbish feels like, right? So just remember, first and foremost, that when we believe everything we think, <laughs> we start to create different beliefs and thoughts around that, and then our actions dictate that, you know, because if we feel like rubbish, our, our brain will look for reasons why we do. First one. So number one is to write down a list of all the things that make you happy, all the things that you enjoy doing. And when you feel low, feel lacking in motivation, like you're just a bit, a bit rubbish, a bit bored of the tasks that you need to do, like you know you need to do these things, go do one of those things. As much as it feels like you are procrastinating or not doing it now, and you've got to get the balance right. You've got to know the difference between when you are procrastinating and when you're not, of course. But go do one of those things and see how you feel then the energy you'll get from it, the different environment, which is number two, by the way, which is change your environment. And this could be a list of anything. Like for me, it might be like, um, go dance with the kids, go for a walk with the kids, play with the kids, run after them. It could be date night. Um, it could be simply going for a run, doing a workout, which by the way, I don't enjoy doing the workout. I enjoy having how I feel after. Um, it could be going to the beach. It could be as simple as listening to a podcast on a walk. Like, that's something that I love doing or listen to an audiobook on a walk um, that gets me walking by the way um, even going <laughs> like meditating going for a nap I just put put whatever on uh, white noise or some meditation app and just lay down in on there there's more simple ones there's <clears throat> less simple ones like could be a massage could be cinema things like that and that brings me on to number two which is to change your environment because but your environment, as much as we think we are in control of our decisions, will will rely on willpower for you to make certain decisions around that. We know that from supermarkets, restaurants, buffets, all of these things that, that we come into contact with, that you know, people eat more if there's more variety of food at a buffet because we try different things. And this goes the same with our with our mood and our energy. If we're around everyone and it's you know, we're around the news and media all of the time and everyone's talking about negative things a lot and then over here you've got a bunch of friends who are achieving certain xyz goals and, and i see it myself in kind of circles that i'm in you've got some people who are focused on here some people are focused on here we're living in the same world but some people are, are their feelings are making dragging them down with their energy other people they're going you know this is happening this is happening this is what i can control so your environment does dictate a lot of what you do so can we change that from time not i'm not talking all the time but even if you try and get out of that for you know, just spend a little bit less time in that environment than you normally would and see how you feel like we've all got that environment that circle who probably drags us down a bit leads us into certain habits and the other people who lead us into other habits and and they do other things and make us feel differently so you know i spoke to someone the other day and they were talking about certain members of their family and and how you know, they just struggle and, and they were like you know, they actually conclude that they don't need to do be doing all these things and it, it's dragging them down their energy and all these things and it's like sometimes you have to put you first a little bit now number three is just consider what you focus on your energy will go so wherever energy goes your energy will flow in here so if you're always focused on these things like why is this not working why is that not working we're always going to be that we're going to be programmed to look for that. And that's that's good to an extent, but this is why um, something we encourage all of the ladies inside our Kickstart and couples in our couples program and guys who do our one-to-one -one program as well. We're always talking about, put your attention on the things that you did well today. You know, I did a post on Friday. You know, just as simple as happy Friday, no matter how big or small, what were your most significant wins this week? Because if you're not doing this, if you're not putting your attention on, on them, no one else will. So what were your most significant wins this week, no matter how big or small? Even if they're as small as I got up, I got up um, half an hour earlier, I just had me time for me. Even if it's, I went for a walk today. Even if it's, I drank a bit more water today. Whatever it is, we've got to keep reminding ourselves of those, those wins along the way. I spent more time with 
kids, family, whatever that is. Put your attention on them. And if you can't think, going back to number one, if you can't think of anything that, that makes you happy or anything you want to do, that's great too because you've got a clean slate. So you've got to try stuff because even though you might have tried it before, you might have been in a different state then and that might have a different impact on you. So now you try it and all of a sudden, oh yeah, actually, actually this is now more enjoyable than I thought. You know, <clears throat> it's only like my walking. I never used to enjoy walking until I <clears throat> um, signed up to the fan dance, Penny Fan. And now I'm like, you know, I actually miss having that training the training walks and all of those things having to get up early and do those walks so <clears throat> and I never thought I'd do that I used to look at other people and go how do you find this these walks fun like walking for like two hours and now I know why um, so you can be in different stages of, of your life and how you are mentally as well in terms of what you're needing to feel better to motivate you again because sometimes when you're slogging at the same thing like if it's weight loss for example the scales aren't moving we're just we we almost don't have the energy and the motivation to go for long enough that's required and that's the the harsh reality there that we almost need to be more consistent and we need energy to do that so my advice with that is to make sure you factor in that focus element that that fun for you that things that make you feel good within that that are non-food related because that's going to have a massive impact as well so i hope that helps and, and comment below of your things that you do to kind of help with that focus that self-care side of things and any questions just let us know take care